there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System. And the word of the day is tension. And if you live in America, I imagine you understand why I'm choosing that word. Because as a highly sensitive empathic person, there is so much energy and so much tension and so many people who are just completely thinking about what is going to happen tomorrow. And the thing is that so much of this, I mean, as I said earlier, I put up a meme earlier today that basically said, you know, that I, my vote is more about the choice to take an action than it is necessarily about the statistical likelihood that my vote is going to make a difference. But the thing is, I can choose to vote, I can take an action, I can, or I could choose not to vote. But the bottom line is that most of this stuff is bigger than I am and it's completely out of my hands. And I get to decide whether or not I'm going to respond to all of the tension, whether I'm going to keep on sort of keep myself aware and open and receptive to it, or if I'm going to do things to really focus on self-care and self-soothing and calming myself down while this is going on. So for the next basically like 26 hours, 20, actually about 27 hours, my entire intention is to focus on love, to focus on light, to focus on hope, to focus on healing, and to take incredibly gentle care of myself and the people that are around me and express my love and gratitude and to just really, really focus on acts of kindness and gentleness and really tuning into gratitude and also just really breathing. And so with a time like this where there are so many people who are in a state of distress because they're wondering how things are going to play out and sadly both sides perceive the opposite side as potentially being like, you know, like totally going down the tubes. We've just got so much at stake in so many people with a lot of anxiety and a lot of concerns about whether they're going to get what they need or not. And what is going to make a big difference right at this very point in time is not worrying, is stepping away from that anxiety, stepping away from the projections for the future, stepping away from forming conclusions about what it's going to mean regardless of whether Hillary or Donald wins and really, really focusing on staying calm, staying grounded, and staying focused. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you the simplest technique out there for just really, really letting ourselves calm down. And that is by combining a little bit of acupressure using some tapping and breathing in calmness and breathing out any tension or worry. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the karate chop point, which is on the side of your hand. And what I want you to do, instead of tapping on it, like as if you were doing EFT, just gently massage this area. And as you gently massage this area, breathe in some calmness. And just breathe out any tension or worry. And now breathing in again. And breathing out all this stuff. And now breathing in calmness again. And just letting go of the concerns, letting go of the worries. There's nothing we can do right now. If you've already sent in your ballot, then you're really done and you can just let go and focus on how do you take care of you. I'm going to make a point of getting to bed early tonight. I'm going to make a point of drinking lots of water in the next 27 hours. And I'm just really going to make a point of focusing on my gratitude, focusing on my love, and expressing love and kindness to everybody that I encounter in the next, like, 36 hours. 
So I invite you to join me. I invite you to do the same and to just disconnect from all of the tension that is going on in the world around us right now and to come back to your own center and come back to your own calmness so that you can be part of the solution.